There's a sif. <laughs> oh my god. I can't go on the blooper reel. Hey, my name is Sean and welcome to Scotland. And welcome to a brand new season of vlogs right here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you to meet some of my friends around Scotland and enjoying the beautiful weather right here in Edinburgh. A special shout out and thanks to my Patreon members, whose support and contributions allow me to keep this channel going. Thank you all for watching. Good morning from beautiful sunny Scotland in springtime. Oh, it feels good to be back. Got a fresh northeast wind right in my face here in Edinburgh. But the sun is shining and the temperature's not bad. It's all good. And I'm happy to be here again. I think this is the first time I've been out on Portobello Beach all year. And welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. I've kind of been slow off the mark since getting home from Brazil to start doing vlogs again here. But here I am, I'm back. I have got an action-packed full video for you guys today. Meeting some people, going to some places that I think you're going to enjoy. So last week, exactly one week ago today, it was another beautiful sunny spring morning here in Scotland. And I went out to Craigmillar Castle in Edinburgh, my favourite castle here in Edinburgh, to meet another Scottish YouTuber who many of you guys will already know. And we did our first collab. One for his channel and also for right here on this vlog. So that's where we're starting today. Before we get into it, I just want to say welcome everyone. Thank you very much for joining in right here on this channel. It's great to see you here as always, back in Scotland. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Let's go back in time a week. Look who it is. How you doing? It's Mr. Bruce. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. I'm just trying to get the thing uh, set up. Good to, good good to, to see you. Hi. Hi. And uh, this is your favourite castle. It is indeed, and it's only, I've, I drove like 10 minutes to get here, so easier for me, a bit longer <laughs> for you to get to. But, but uh, I'm on a big journey, right, okay, I'm going down to the borders, uh -huh. we're going to explore places, we're going to go and see castles down there, uh, battlefields and all that kind of stuff, right, how how we used to fight the English. <laughs> you work down there now, actually. I do, you? yeah, I'm uh, a bit of a turncoat, if you could, you could say. Yeah, well, hey, 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 I'm a, you're not the first Scotsman to have gone to London exactly. for the Exactly. James, James VI did it. I mean, okay, half the country did it. Exactly, it's true, it's true. Um, so, I'm here, we're going to do a bit of a, well, we're going to do a couple of videos here on this channel, obviously, the vlog. We're going to do a really great video on your channel as well. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, and we'll we'll see how we get on, but it's a yeah. nice day. It is a bit chilly, like, but... Yeah, but the, su the sun's the out, sun's do out. you know what I mean? And uh, you can see the bay, you can see Arthur's Seat. That's not actually Arthur's Seat, it's Arthur's Seat's round there, isn't it? It's Aye. Just... So you've got the crags on the... You call this Salisbury Crag. You've got the crags on that side, and then uh -huh. you've got the, the top Arthur's Seat right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up yeah. there. Uh, this is a cracking spot. It's a bonny location, The eh? thing is, it's like, it's right, it's 10, 15 minutes for Edinburgh City Centre. People don't realise that. It is. Do you know, and the thing is, Craig Miller gets a reputation... Does I? For a, but I've driven through it, and trust me, there are... There places <laughs> where I'm from yeah. than Craig Miller, I can tell you that. It does get a reputation, but it's all right. You know what? I grew up around here, um, and I went to school actually just over the other side of Craig Miller uh -huh. at high school, and and it, it, it was a wee bit rough, but it was you know it was it was fine. Uh -uh. It, was it, fine. it doesn't feel any rougher than. No. I did a video in Airdrie once. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Right? What? <laughs> To be fair, <laughs> it was worse than the 90s. It's, it's better now. Ah, right, okay. Right, but, um, they've worked on it. It's all aye. up and coming. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, you've got your camera set up. Let's get this set up. Let's get set up aye. and let's get going. take my sunglasses off because I can't see in the dark <laughs> and it gets quite dark in there I don't want to fall down the spiral staircase <laughs> so these are coming off
some place in here, yeah. Force is a bit, quite a lot of echo, but hopefully our microphones will sort that out. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> no, but it gives it an atmosphere. Yeah, it does, yeah. It gives it ambiance. This is the, the, the great hall where all the parties would have happened. You can see the, you can see the picture up there. It tells you more about some of the parties that we'd have had. We'd have been all fancy carpets on the wall. It's beautiful. Lord's Hall is the actual name of it. So the reason that this castle is so important to me is because I basically grew up, you know, with an eyesight of where we are now. Yeah. You can just see over there that big white building, which is now Little France, it's not Little France anymore, it is the Edinburgh Royal Infirmary, uh -huh. which is But the... people still talk about Little France. Yeah, so I think even on the road there, there's a sign that says Little France. Mm -hmm. So I think there's still, there's still a connection there with Little France. This part of the land was known as Little France. And basically, the reason I know about that is because my grandparents, Way back, you know, 20 years ago, we used to own the caravan site. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the French crows. The French are they, they're not crows, what are they? <laughs> um, so they used to own, they used to own the caravan site, which is where the hospital is now. And it was called Little France Caravan Park. Yeah. It was a place that a lot of people used to come to stay when they went to the festival and all the rest of it. So you, who did your uh, grandparents buy the caravan park from? I don't actually know that. It wasn't the French? It wasn't the French, I don't think. But um, that, you know, we're going back a long time now, like uh -huh. early 90s or something like that. But yeah. you used to get all the, all the vagabonds wanted to come to Edinburgh and put shows on at the festival. Yes. And all that. You used to stay there yes. because it was the cheapest place, place of to course. stay in Edinburgh. Yeah. And, uh, there was a good kind of vibe about that, the campsite. Anyway. The campsite was called Little France, and the reason that, that was said to be the case is because when Mary Queen of Scots here, she obviously had some guards that were French, and they camped out down in that bit of land, mm -hmm. just over the site of the castle there. And I think some of them ended up staying, building a little bit of a community, mm -hmm. and it became Little France yeah. down there, just behind the cottages and where the hospital is now. And that, that name, like I said, sticks around until today, yeah. and it's an interesting bit of history. And because of that, um, I got interested in the story of Mary Queen of Scots. There was also an old tree stump in the caravan park, which the legend has it that she planted or that she used to come and sit under. Mm -hmm. And, and, and um, she would have read. I, mean, we didn't, I don't know what she would have done. She would have came and relaxed under the tree. Yeah. I know she came and did archery here. Archery, I mean, yeah. it could have been that. But the council, anyway, ended up taking the tree away once the, the campsite was sold off for the hospital to be built. Uh -huh. So that part of history was removed. But. Uh, we knew about Mary's connection to the land here uh, through Little France and all the rest of it, and it was it was grand, mm -hmm. and that's why this is my favourite castle because yeah. it, it means a lot to me as a kid growing up. It was all the nostalgia stuff, and we used to just come in here and kind of sneak in the grounds and mess around as kids yeah. as well, you know. Before it was all like ticketed and stuff, you know, to buy a ticket. Yeah, because that's the thing that people forget when you come to places like this that it has a life yeah. long after people think that it's finished. You yeah, know, definitely. For, people like you growing up here. And um, also like if you look down there, um, it's obviously off, off camera, you can see the woods there. There's also like a lot of old brick buildings and stuff. They would have been way after the time of the castle, but like there's a lot of other bits of history in there that we're never sure what it was about. Yeah. Uh, and there's also the big pond down there, you can see the outline of it with the P shape, uh -huh. which is for the Preston family. So there's, there's bits in the land here that's quite interesting. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's why we came here today and that's why it's my favorite castle, not Edinburgh Castle, but yeah. Uh, Bruce, I want to say thank you for coming here and meeting it's me. It's been great fun, isn't it? It's been yeah. brilliant. You know, we've been wanting to do videos together for ages. I think you're, you're an absolute legend. People love your videos and you're so funny. And I want to come and see your stand-up shows at some point. Yeah, Whenever you're doing them next time. Yeah. Um, but also your YouTube videos are just so informative and have taught me a lot about my own history that I had no idea about. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Uh, I love your videos and, you know, all you guys watching need to go and see your videos, which is Scotland History Tours. Scotland Tour. History Tours, yeah. And right now, as we're finishing this video and posting it on the channel, you are doing a bit of a tour, am I right? I'm going to do seven days along the Scotland and England border. Okay. Like, lots of little history things. We've, we've hired a, a camper van from Perthshire, camper uh, hire, and we're going to spend seven days in the camper van, driving about the borders, talking about the history, the battles, the standoffs, the negotiations, <laughs> and stuff like that. That's yeah. going to be brilliant. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing that, that, that video series on your channel. And all you guys watching should definitely, obviously, Say subscribe but check out that video series i'll put a link down below to that video the next one coming thank up thank you the series and then there'll also be a card up here somewhere uh, so make sure you go check those videos 
you, you always bring Scotland to life for me through history, and I think that's you know it's brilliant. That's what we're trying to do. That's right. what we're trying to do. Yeah. Um, so again, thank you. Great to meet you, and let's do more videos in the future. At some yes. point. So we'll thank go you. To my favourite castle next. We'll go to your favourite one. <laughs> brilliant. All right. Okay. Well, I hope you have a great tour, um, and I'll be checking out those videos and social yeah. overview. Cheers. So after doing that video with Bruce in Edinburgh, I've actually come to Bruce's hometown. That was a week ago. One week later, we are here in Stirling. I've come here with some friends to show them around. My God, it's so bright and sunny. It's unbelievable. Lovely spring day here in Scotland. Where is it? We are here. That there is the Wallace Monument. I've come here with some friends and I thought I'd show you guys around. Thank you. Sean, you stay? That's cool. That's a wooden version of the real thing up there. And I'm the real. <laughs> <laughs> Over lockdown, I seem to have lost all my ability to climb hills. I'm not fit anymore. What happened? COVID. COVID okay. happened. Do you know, Angie, there's people here in Scotland that climb up all the mountains, the Munros. Big, the big mountains in the Highlands. This is oh. like not even this. No, it's not even high enough. Do you think you could do them? No. You know. I have to like have a proper treatment before. Because <laughs> I can't breathe well since yeah. we I had to twice the COVID. And we don't go outside anymore yeah. so much. Now probably yeah. in winter and winter. Yeah. In summer? In the summer? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, so beautiful. It's nice, yeah. Got a flag up there, look. It's not really blowing at the moment. Come on, flag. Do your thing. <laughs> How are you feeling after that climb? Uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe it. So we were just saying it's been two years since we did a video together and that is yeah. New Year's. New Year's. Oh, it was so good though, wasn't it? New Year's in 2019? Yeah, 20? just before all the Hit the fan. Exactly. <laughs> and we've obviously been doing the podcast together. Mm -hmm. We've done lots of videos together on the channel, but it's, it's so good to see you again. I can't it's believe very it. Good to see you again, and we've just randomly um, came to Stirling today on the same day on such a beautiful day. We did, uh, yeah, I text and you were like, I'm yeah, we'll so too. <laughs> yeah. um, so we're going to go up uh, the Wallace Monument and have a wee look. Yeah, it's high. It's kind of high, isn't it? Hey. And you have to climb up, there's not, there's, you have to go up the steps. Okay. Look I at that. Do heights well. <laughs> Me neither. I hate heights. <laughs> I hate heights. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Um, it's looking up that note, giving you vertigo. It does a wee bit, okay. aye. Because I, I feel like I need to hold on to something aye. behind me. But look, look at that, look. You go there, right? you can see all the way up. Oh my god. It, I don't know if it comes across on camera, but it is actually very high. Like, record my shoes. No, <laughs> yeah. It is pretty high. Some of these weapons look absolutely brutal, like obviously swords and that are quite dangerous in the, in the dagger but there's an axe there and there's also like a kind of bludgeon thing down there, look at that. Amazing. See the light, we made it. We made it, we're alive. Take you made it. Oh my god. Angie. There, we can take the mask off now. Everybody alive, everybody okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's quite windy up here. But wow, what are you? Guys. What are we seeing? Wow, everything like <laughs> Really, really nice. Yes. 
So we better win there. Woohoo! Woo Look at your hair. <laughs> The trousers underneath the coat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is smart. You know? <laughs> That's why. No. <laughs> too high. No, going out there. Yeah. No. No. I don't like the heights either. No. no. Uh, Tommy doesn't like it. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna go up anyway and have a look. Oh, that's pretty high. Wow! Look at that view. The city of Stirling down there. Oops, don't want to go too close to the edge. Oh, Hold it up. But the Stirling Bridge took place right down there in that in that field. In those fields, that Stirling Castle there, and the city of Stirling there. Yeah. You're so crazy. <laughs> There's like a lion and then above it there's a goose. Oh yeah. Or a duck's head or something. It could be a swan actually. It could be a swan. And then a thistle. Oh. Angie, what did you think of the Wallace Monument? Did you like it? Yeah, very, but it's very like tiring. tiring. A lot. Yeah. It's a lot of steps. A lot of steps. And some people don't wait yeah. for people to go down, get down. And I got like dizzy. Dizzy. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's a lot. I feel like I've been to the gym. Yeah. It's really good though. I like it up there. The, the view is so cool. Yeah, it's awesome. But if you're women, please do bring something to like hold your hair. Yeah. Otherwise, you've got shitty photos. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, this is such a nice day. And even on a day like this, it's still windy up there. Yeah. yeah. Very windy. So that was yesterday, we went up to Stirling, had such a good time going around the Wallace Monument, not been there for a few years, with Angela, Felipe, Lucas and Tekka, and then also randomly bumping into wee Scottish lass, Moscow Moon, who I've not seen for two years, despite the fact that we do a podcast together. We shall not leave it that long again in future. But you know what, I'm feeling pretty fulfilled being back in Scotland right now, especially with the weather starting to turn. Since I got back from Brazil, the first month was pretty grim, to be honest. The weather was atrocious, and I just wasn't, I don't know. I hate the I hate the rainy weather that we get here, which is, sad to say, quite often the case. But like I said, we've had two weeks of absolutely beautiful sunshine and great weather here. And as you can see today, and yesterday, and the week before in the videos that I've showed you, it's just been absolutely smashing. Which is why I thought I would come out here to Portobello Beach this morning. Let's see if I can kick start back with going walks and runs in the morning, which I'm not going to do today. I'm just coming out for a wee taster, a wee bit of a walk to show you guys how it's looking. But now I'm going to get something to eat and then take you guys into town. We are here in Edinburgh City Centre. It's really, really nice. There's a lot of people here. It's very busy. And we passed the place that we wanted to go and it's very busy. But let's go and take some photos for Instagram. All right, Decker? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Grandy as well, I know it again. Yeah, we're going to take photos. Amazing photos. I know all the spots. You know all the spaces. Spots, yeah. Uh, and you've been teaching me some stuff on Instagram as well, which I'm really happy about. Yeah. Um, about how to do reels properly. So go and follow both all of us on Instagram. I'll put a link.
This is the crazy thing about Edinburgh in the nice weather. Like I said, two seconds ago in the sun, I was warm. And now, in the shade, I'm cold, so jackets are required. But look at that, that is the castle there behind me. Such a nice day. People up there on the grass. It's amazing. The castle looks so pretty. And this fake flowers is a fig. A fig's fake. Fix fake. <laughs> Where's the fake? We wanted to come to this place for a long time because there's always a queue here which means it should always be a good place to come I would imagine and again today there's a queue that goes all the way down the street I think it's ice cream and milkshakes maybe Mary's milk bar there's a f <laughs> oh my god I can't go on the blooper reel um, there's a famous set of stairs here that everybody comes to take photos for Instagram and I've never been here in my life I've just been here. Yeah, it was actually my second place. No, second place at a visit. For the first time, I was in Edinburgh. Yeah? Yeah. So it's called the Venel. The Venel. It's uh, besides the Flodden Wall. Mm, so it goes right next to the graveyard. Yeah. I've never been here. I don't know why. And I live here. I was born, I was born <laughs> about 200 meters the other side of the really? wall. Really? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. In the Simpsons Hospital, which doesn't exist anymore. Uh, um, so yeah. Never been here, but it's all on Instagram. Like if you type Edinburgh on Instagram, probably this place is going to come up first. Yes, that's why I was here. <laughs> we arrived in uh, six in the morning. Yeah. Then we spent like one hour in the Prissy Street Gardens, and then we came here because everything was closed. So it was summer as well. It looks like we're not the only people here to take photos today as well. taking photos has made us quite hungry so we're going to go into this cafe here French place and to get some tea and cakes apparently it's very good and she's been here before I have not let's go which one's good Good to see a long last as well that Edinburgh is starting to be a bit buzzing with tourists. They're all back after several years disruption because of the pandemic. Definitely seems like the tourists are back. There's tour guides doing their thing. Lots of people taking photos in all the spots. It's nice. It does help that it's a nice sunny day though. Look at that. I actually just posted an Instagram reel from Victoria Street on my page today, but it was in the dark. As you can see in a day like today, it's all lit up. We're here in the queue waiting for our ice cream. Yeah, Mary's milk here. Yeah? Yo. And um, we finally decided we'll actually come here in the queue and wait and try this place out because with all these people waiting, it must be good. It must be. <laughs> this guy's giving up. He's, he's, he's going to wait there for the queue to pass. That's the best idea. Look at that. Look at that. the queue goes all the way back down the street. Mm -hmm. 
finally got our ice cream. I got two salted caramels. I've already tried it to be fair and it's all right. It's not the best ice cream I've ever had in my life. What did you get, Angie? Pistachio. Pistachio. And tahini with lemon and honey. This is very nice. Yeah. The pistachio, yes, pistachio is okay. Because yeah, I love, I really love the gelato from Italy. Uh -huh. It's my favorite, but this is, there's a lot of milk, of course, because the name is milk. Yeah. It should so be a lot. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, the classic ice cream in Edinburgh is called Lucas. Mm. It's good. And I think it's kind of like the same, to be honest. I think that's kind of bad, bad part of Edinburgh. That up there, that is Glasgow's thing. I'm not sure we should be taking that. That's like a Glasgow thing. I had the corn. Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't steal that. It's like a Glasgow. <laughs> Glasgow, yeah. They're gonna be, they're gonna be making fun of us for trying to do that as well. I think uh, the one in Glasgow now has the Ukrainian colors. Oh uh, yeah. They changed it. I think somebody should take that down. I feel embarrassed. Final moments of sunlight tonight. Sunset here in Edinburgh, and we're on Princess Street, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I know I've taken loads of videos of Princess Street on my channel before, but when it looks like this, you just need to take advantage, right? Tekka is actually here to go into some shops. And to H&M, I'm gonna let her go in, and I'm gonna stay out here and take some videos. B-roll, I need to do it, sorry. I was gonna come in with you, but I'm staying out here. Not expect to bump into this lot tonight. 